Ladies and gentlemen, the stakes have never been higher for a Marvel Strike Force orb opening. We have 24 of the Rocket Raccoon orbs. Now, in order to take Rocket up, we need 130 of the shards. So we got 24. Each one guarantees five shards for the character. So you clever mathematicians out there will have worked out that we've got a guaranteed base level of 120 shards. So of these 24 orbs, we need to get lucky twice and hope that we don't get completely dick slapped by RN Jesus in order to get six star rocket today which is also going to allow us to get six star star lord because he's the final guardians of the galaxy character that I need up at six star uh, and also that fat stack of like half a million gold as well so ladies and gentlemen I'm very very excited to um get opening today and the reason I wanted to push this opening a day earlier because it's on for one more day the Rocket Raccoon event is that tomorrow hopefully I want to debut like the sickest tech team that I've come up with uh, that I'm really really excited to do some gameplay so orb number one we didn't get lucky orb number two we didn't get lucky orb number three we didn't get lucky ladies and gentlemen so we're zero for three at the moment uh zero for four now come on man this is uh, not looking good, man. Four, five orbs in. Hey, there we go. We've got more lucky once. We just need that one more time. And then we have that six-star Rocket Raccoon guaranteed. However, I would love a legendary drop where we get 20 Rocket Shards because they take ages. But there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, stack of eight number two. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So let's just mince through through the end of this. Another stack of eight. That's, that is uh, three lucky stacks so far. And let's uh, keep on going, kind of keep track of those uh, drop rates to have a, a bit of a rough idea of, you know, what to uh, what to maybe expect there. So we've got three, and there is number four in terms of the additional bonus drop there. Number five, a nice little back-to-back -back of ten there. And let's uh, move a little bit deeper into this. We have six more orbs. So let's go ahead and claim. So have we got five or six so far? God damn it, I swear I've already forgotten. My goodness, I'll be able to work out at the end though. I think it's been five. Oh gosh, I can't believe I actually lost count of that. Absolutely embarrassing performance, but there we go. I think that's maybe number six. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So overall, we got lucky six times, which gives us 150 rocket shards, which is 20 over what we need. And that seven star rocket raccoon, man, is going to be a friggin' grind. That's going to take so long to get. But there we go. There is rocket raccoon upgraded to six stars. So we get 2,500 more health. Uh, almost. It's just, I think it's just over 400 and a bit in terms of the damage. So really, really good upgrade there. Uh, a little bit more armor, a little bit more focus, a little bit more resistance. But to be honest, that damage upgrade, man, I'm super, super happy happy about that one uh so now that we have done that ladies and gentlemen we have unlocked the next tier of the star lord legendary event so this allows us to get six star star lord along with half a million gold as well uh, so let's jump into this and see what we're up against and then we're going to do a couple of matches in blitz once we have both of the characters upgraded so yeah to test out kind of the new firepower of both of these characters man which i'm so so chuffed about so what do we have here we have uh both Thor and Loki, along with Cable and Deadpool. That Wolverine looks really, really stacked in the middle, actually. Let's uh, speed up and get nuking in as quickly as we possibly can here. So I think we want to probably go for the Loki first, and then maybe the Cable. Oh, I don't know if I maybe had a, a bit of a misplay there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this Cable down, because Cable with his ultimate combination with Deadpool, man, is just going to be incredibly bad news, especially if he kills one of my characters. Uh, so let's just use the single target there. We're going to make sure Cable drops. We're going to use the area of effect on the, uh, the Boomer, and hopefully next turn Yondu's uh, Yaka Arrow should be able to clear up the rest of those minions. I'm going to single target Nuke into Deadpool. I think he's kind of the priority in threat at the moment. Actually, to be honest, his ultimate abilities have kind of gone now. So no, nothing too bad there, but the Yaka Arrow should clear up quite nicely. And then we just have a Doctor Strange and Mordo coming down. Um, I think we'll get four down before his area of effect. There's not too much we need to worry about here. I would assume. I think we're on fairly good standing now to get this. Unless we have a really crappy Mordo. But Mordo always uses his heal block before the blind. So we're very lucky that we didn't succumb to any of the crowd control there. Uh, let's use the, uh, the ultimate on Rocket there. Some very neat damage. And now let's uh, finish off this Mordo before he uses his crowd control next turn. Let's get the additional turn on Gamora. Why not, ladies and gentlemen? And there we go. That takes Wolverine down and gives us uh, the six-star Star-Lord. So overall, that one wasn't too bad to deal with. I think that's definitely the hardest Star-Lord mission that we did so far. Because I was definitely face roll auto-fighting the rest of them. But yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad, man, for the first try. But anyway, let's go ahead and take Star-Lord up to... Um, 
six star now as well, which increases his health by, uh, what is it, just under 3,000 there. The attack is going up by 200 and a bit, so Rocket definitely got a lot more of a, uh, a stats boost there. But still, you know, pretty nice stuff on Star-Lord there, plus an additional, you know, uh, half a million gold, which was used to rank up Star-Lord and Rocket anyway, so pretty much free power in the roster. But anyway, let's try some arena matchups. So again, I'm going to change around my Blitz teams very, very soon once I got Vision fully upgraded. Uh, but this is the one that I've been running with Star-Lord and Rocket so far. Uh, and it's kind of my, like if you follow my Infinite Blitz guide, it's what, what is known as the Suicide Squad. So yeah, Hand Sentry is to stealth everybody. Uh, Jessica Jones is to pump the ability into Rocket, Raccoon, and Crossbones. But previously I had Thor in this team, but Thor didn't really do too much too often. Whereas Star-Lord on his very first turn... His ultimate is great for laying into a character like Crossbones and just helping get some more consistent damage because you get his hit and then a guaranteed assist from Rocket, which deals a ton of damage, and then a hit from either Hand Sentry, Jessica Jones, or Crossbones there. So let's hope this turn we can get the explosion on Crossbones. Unfortunately not, but we did a little bit of safety there by dispatching of uh, the opponent's Crossbones. And now let's nuke into, I believe, Yondu, and hopefully we get the offense down. Some pretty damn awesome stuff there. Okay, let's give the blind and also more ability energy uh, funneled into hand sentry actually which allows us to do another smoke bomb and get some more evades so that's uh, got a little bit of value there but not too bad man not too bad of course quakes attack to miss and why did i not use the dispel there man a rookie play but at this point the match is won uh, relatively easily let's just get this gamora down with rocket and then finish off uh captain america and there we go ladies and gentlemen easy game easy life this team isn't too bad if you've got all of these characters unlocked but i think next blitz you you are going to see some uh, some crazy setups hopefully within the next couple of days or so right let's keep on pushing forward man and uh, have a few more wins of this team see what we can uh, muster out with it okay so we have yondu quake who's our priority here i think it's probably quake and we got ability energy just siphoned down the first turn which is great uh really awesome stuff there quake is just getting nuked down first turn I think we're going to gamble here and hope that some ability energy... Actually, do we... Uh, yeah, let's just full single target nuke into Yondu here. Hope some ability energy goes into Crossbones. Use the detonate there. That gets Yondu and also Quake down. And now we just have to clean up the rest. So let's use the blind on Star-Lord. Uh, and unfortunately, we didn't get any blind value there at all. I thought that couldn't be resisted, but apparently, uh, apparently not, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's just use the taunt here just to hide Rocket Raccoon by uh, behind an additional layer. Just in case for super safety here. Star as well, giving out ability energy on the turn there. Some pretty dank stuff. Fire off a little bit of bombardment there. I still, I still quite like this team, man. This team is super fun. But I'm very, very excited for the, the tech team that I'm going to be uh, hopefully running next week. Hopefully it works as well as I think it's going to work. Um, but anyway, let's move forward a little bit more. And let's go for this next matchup where we have Hawkeye instead of Yondu. So this, again, shouldn't be too bad at all to deal with. We're going to get the single target first turn nuke into Quake. And look at that damage, man. It just absolutely decimates. It absolutely decimates. Uh. And now let's use the single target on Rocket. That is hitting so hard now as well. Explosion on Crossbones. Uh, did we have offense up there from Rocket? That one felt like it hit really, really hard. Some cool stuff, though. Okay, let's apply the blind, and hopefully that hits somebody. We got a little bit of value there on Gamora, and also some ability energy out on our uh, lads as well. But at this point, man, the fight is just absolutely over and ruined. But I love, I love that first turn combo of uh, Rocket and Star Lord, and I think the characters complement each other, especially in Blitz, really, really well. Just because of the additional ability energy handout, when it does proc, it just you know allows you to get to Rocket's ultimate so incredibly quick. Or can uh, additionally, along with Jessica Jones, you know fuel up his second single target ability if there's somebody you need to take down. So yeah, so just a really cool little synergy and matchup there. But there we go. Let's move on to the final matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Again, all of these uh, very diverse teams, as you can see, where only one character changes. <laughs> oh, man, it's always the, the top kind of, uh, what is it, same, like, ten or so characters. Um, we're going to gamble. Let's go for Yondu here. Okay, ability energy hopefully goes into crossbones. Unfortunately not, but we should still be able to get Quake down. Circumvent that bad RNG a little bit. Okay, let's apply the blind. We've got that on Gamora, so that's going to get rid of one of her very, very nasty slashes, which is pretty decent value there. Uh, let's get rid of the taunt now on Captain America. Let's go for the explosion on Crossbones. 
Um, and ideally, have we got Rocket's Ultimate? I don't think we've had Rocket's Ultimate yet, so I think that's going to be coming um, his next turn to hopefully finish off uh, Black Widow. Oh no, Black Widow's got Death Proof now, which she stole from Crossbones. Bit of a pain in the ass. That Ultimate should <laughs> deal some pretty nice damage though. And there we go, Crossbones is down, Gamora is down. We are going to finish off that Black Widow in style. Use the single target on Rocket. Smash Captain America down. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just four crazy fire back-to-back -back wins just like that. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's uh, Rocket Raccoon orb opening video, I almost lost track of what video this is because we've done so much stuff in it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to smash that like button for a little bit of Rocket gameplay. And yeah, if you want to see some more Dank Blitz gameplay, we're going to have some cool stuff coming hopefully in the next week or so. So yeah, so smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, all of that fun stuff. Apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.